Now let's see what to do next. I mean, in a way, I kind of want to just do stay here and try to obtain as level up as much as I can. So I prepare myself. Who do this one? Just unlock it already. Oh, they leave. I, could su I suppose I could talk to him as well. Of course, you want to do that, and go talk to Catherine. Hmm. Ah, oh, fuck, what to do? <laughs> Let me see, maybe... Yeah, I guess I can just go for it. I'll just talk to Catherine so I, I have that unlocked. But I'm not gonna go to the... To the other place. I still gonna wanna to level up a little bit more. I also need to go and try to feed those and uh, those big monsters because I've been trying to do that a lot. Hey there, traveler! Please over here. Yes, I'm right here. It has been a while since you joined the Adventurers Guild. Are your adventures going smoothly? Mm hmm. Hmm. Is that so? Apart from your own skills, reliable teammates are also indispensable when adventuring. That's right. Another person to count on is always good after all. But recruiting such dependable companions is no easy matter, is oh, it? Oh, trust me. I've been saving up as many Paimon gems as I can. Yep. And it's Not easy. harder to get a guide as good as Paimon. Uh -huh. <sighs> yes. I do have some information that may be of help to you. Let all right. consult our records. Ah, there it is. There's been a certain blonde stranger who arrived in Mondstadt lately. Dressed in most unusual clothes. Blonde. Dress is all funny. It feels like Paimon's heard this one before. It almost sounds Wait, like... Do you mean... Does that stranger's face look anything like hers? Well... Like the honorary knights? Yes. No, they couldn't look more different. This stranger is a very tall man. And even has an eye patch. <laughs> oh, that's funny. <laughs> How does this have anything to do with Kaya? I can't just can't prove that you're related anyway. That stranger declined the guild's invitation, so I can't say that I know anything about the relationship between him and Mr. Kaya. Well, funny enough, I do Unless, know. You can look for him if you're interested. Perhaps he might accept your commission instead. After all, it is not uncommon for some adventurers to not want to be limited by the guild, but be happy to accept a fellow adventurer's request. And should the stranger be a strong adventurer indeed, he would certainly be a big help on your journey. Please don't talk down on yourself like that. You are the honorary knight of the Knights of Favonius, Yeah, after all. sure, but I'm not gonna force them. Your deeds are the stuff of song for all the bards in the city, even now. Well, as to further news about him, you may want to ask Mr. Lawrence. Mr. Lawrence? He stands guard at the city gate, so he may know something about that stranger. I wish you every success, adventurer. Well, that's lovely. Okay, so I'm supposed to talk to... Um, why am I supposed to talk to he you again? Oh yeah, that thing! I can now start fishing! <laughs> oh my god. I think about it, a lot of uh, games like this do have that uh, ability to fish. Well, I wouldn't say ability, but the option to fish.
Okay, so I'm supposed to talk to him. Like I said, I kind of want to increase even more these guys. Plus, I am sort of thinking of heading towards other areas. As you can see, I have been unlocking a few areas here in, uh, in Sumero. Just unlocking, not get, trying to go through any cutscenes. That's the last thing I, last thing I want to do. You know, just try to level up as much as I can. As well as fighting these big monsters right here. These guys. Not to mention obtaining uh, all the gems. <gasps> I'm so busy. Alright, here we go. Here we go. Yes, Diona! Welcome aboard! That was kinda hoping for other ones, but I'll take it. Let's see, one more time. Let's go and do it. Nope. Oh well. Well, I tried. Well, I suppose it's better than nothing. At least I got Diona. That's another new character on my team. So that's good. I guess in the... I guess I currently have my own little mission, you could say. And my own little personal mission is to try to reach Fontaine as fast as I can. I mean, in sense of the story, not the location itself. Because there are stuff up appearing, and as much as I'm enjoying trying to check out how, how everything is from the very beginning, I'm I kind of don't want to don't want to miss some stuff as well. So I'm going to do my best, reach it. Okay. Then this thing. But it's better than nothing. And I guess I'm gonna start by going and continue with the mission. Let's see, should I go for continuing with this one? I suppose I could. Yeah, I guess I'll continue with this one. There is a bit of a plot in there. Hmm? Wait, is there something more? Oh, I guess there is. Well, I'll take it. That was nice. Oh yeah, the ingredients. Anyway, back to the east. So let's see. My, I guess what I'm gonna do. Is I'm gonna try to continue with the story as fast as I can. Also, I can do it. So I'm not exactly sure. What? Oh yeah, the card thing. Uh, so sucrose, the package you mentioned that you received before, it's not dangerous, is it? What? You need to be careful when you're opening packages. I once had a friend mail me some research materials, and all the bouncing around in transit caused a reaction. Oh dear. Once I opened it, oh, it let out a stench that could wake the dead. Ooh. No, this package didn't contain any hazardous materials. <laughs> oh yeah, since I still haven't met her. Yeah, sucrose. He's adorable. Hey, Timaeus! What are you chatting about? And who might this be? Oh, oh, hello, you two. Uh, this is Sucrose. Huh. 
So is this the first time we actually met? Interesting. Hi, I'm Sucrose, Albedo's assistant. If you have any alchemy-related queries, you could always ask me. Will do. I'll do my best to help. I need to confirm, but I'm pretty sure in the when I played on my PS4, we didn't have this kind of interaction. Huh? Do I look nervous? <laughs> you do my all the time. Apologies. I don't get out too often. I'm usually in the laboratory where there aren't many others to talk to. That's okay. You don't have to force yourself. I'm unsure that once we get to know each other better, we'll become really good friends. <laughs> yep. Hey, aren't you the legendary traveler? The one who repelled Storm Terror? I've heard so many stories about you. Always wanted an opportunity to research How you many... up close. Oh, wait, what? Uh, what do you mean, research? <sighs> Sorry, don't mind me. What am I saying? Well, no, <laughs> oh, God, my. So, what were you I just, about sorry, just love this adorable girl. Sucrose received a strange package recently. You guys are talking about the car thingies, right? I think a that's the word he was. Yes. I believe it's from a Sumero scholar who came here to study. Oh, yeah, it is. It's most likely a thank you gift for collaborating on some research together. Huh? A package from an academia scholar? Oh, then there could be anything inside. You know what? <laughs> yeah, like it's a thank you gift. Like there you wasn't said. anything dangerous inside. Just a bunch of strange cards. Oh, yeah, I knew it. It I is. I think I've seen Timaeus with some similar looking cards before. So I came to ask him about what they might be. Uh, you've you've seen me with some cards? <laughs> Maybe those were the testing cards used for distinguishing reagents. No, they didn't look like test cards. Here, have a look. <laughs> Can you manage just obtaining a collection card and the picture on the card is yourself? I mean... I honestly would not mind. I mean, I'm pretty awesome, but at the same time, it's kind of weird. Oh, you meant these? Huh. Sucrose, have you really never seen these before? No, never. Recently, I've been spending all my time up in the mountains working on cultivating pentatonic sweet flowers. Why? Is this an area of research that has started trending in the alchemical community during my absence? Uh, not exactly. <laughs> you could definitely say that it's trending, but not as an area of research. It's a card game that's been getting really popular these days. Well, trust it's me. It's called I Genius know. Invocation TCG. That is Genius Invocation muscle. TCG! Yeah, we've been hearing about this game all over the place. But this is the first time we've ever actually seen any of the cards. We didn't know it had made it all the way to Mondstadt. Must be pretty popular, huh? That's right. The game's been catching on lately. The Yae Publishing House in Inazuma has even published a series of light novels based on the game. The story is oh, really I love good. These. It starts with a young guy in Sumeru who finds an ancient casket of tomes in the attic. He opens it and discovers that the soul of an ancient TCG player called the Crocodile King <laughs> has been captured inside. <laughs> I love this. This is such a clearly a uh, Yu-Gi-Oh reference. Oh, I just fucking love it. It turns out that the Crocodile King was King Deshret's viceroy, who battled an opponent named the Ibis King. During the match, the Crocodile King fell prey to his opponent's scheme and was sealed away in the Casket of Tomes. After being unexpectedly released by the kid, the Crocodile King possesses him and helps him to gradually climb the ranks and become a legendary TCG player. Uh, Timaeus... Huh? What's wrong, Sucrose? Uh, oh, if you're interested in how the story plays out, I can lend you the novels. No. I was just thinking about that time you requested an extension on your progress report deadline, citing personal reasons for the oh. delay. Oh. <laughs> well, uh, 
<laughs> I did go through a phase recently where I wasn't putting enough focus on my work, but it's under control now. I've committed to not even touch Genius Invocation TCG until I've made enough progress in my research. <sighs> well, that's unfortunate. Oh, Wait, what? Why is that? Well, since it's a gift from a researcher I've collaborated with, I thought that I should at least try to learn the rules. That way, I could say that I at least tried to appreciate his gift. Oh, I see. Oh, right! And since it's a game from Sumeru, who knows? Playing it might even make you smarter! I guess, but... I mean, Karuo is just... I don't know, just... I'm trying to find a word in English. It's a thing that many collectors do. Not actually play the card game, but just having the collection, you know? Eh. <laughs> just wait until Paimon plays it enough to become smarter than you! Then you'll be sorry! Bring it! Although, it seems like we can't learn how to play it anytime soon, because Timaeus has given up for a while. <laughs> yeah, that's gonna be a problem. Well, research is my priority, you know. Yes, but now it is. if you'd like to learn the rules of Genius Invocation TCG, then I'd actually suggest you go to the Cat's Tale. The Cat's Tale? Yep, that's the place. It's where everyone in the community goes to play when they have time. They gather there, trade cards, and they're very welcoming to new players. Oh yeah, Trying that's right, the, the Cat's Tale. That's where Yona was born. But well, it's that's a convenient. lot of fun once you get the hang of it. I got my hands on Yona now. Traveler? Paimon, I just, uh, let's go to the cat's come across these. try asking around. To be honest, hearing Timaeus talking about the game has also piqued my curiosity. Well, what are we waiting for? Let's get going! Yeah, let's do it. This is gonna be fun. I swear, I cannot time this any better. I got my hand on the owner, finally. And then I somehow accidentally unlocked this one. This a uh, quest. I didn't plan to go over here, but yeah, fuck it. Let's do it. Let's have a cat. <laughs> now I think I'm, like, I'm getting a lot of uh, ice users. Way too many. Welcome to the cat's tail. Ah, <laughs> it's the traveler and Paimon. What a nice surprise. What's up? Oh, and Sucrose the alchemist. Oh, we did, we did it's a little been a while, hasn't it? <laughs> and he has a little head. I'm afraid I've oh, already my. told you before. Fur from the cat's tail staff is not for sale. Wait, what? No matter how much Mora you offer. Pardon? <laughs> Sucrose, explain. <laughs> Don't worry, Margaret. We're not here for that research project I told you about last time. Uh, Sucrose, what kind of experiment were you trying to do with the cat's tail? Uh, oh, I just wanted to test out some hypotheses, and I needed some materials. But, uh, we can talk about that later. Uh-huh. Actually, Margaret, we're here to learn more about Genius Invocation TCG. Yes, the card game. A genius Invocation TCG. We were just talking about that game. Oh, well, that's convenient. You see, more and more people have been gathering at the Cat's Tail to play. So I thought, why not have a dedicated staff to serve the new customers? I see. Oh, Prince. Uh, allow me to interpret. Wait, what? <clears throat> Prince says that the word customer is much too loose of a term, and we should instead refer to anyone who loves dueling with cards as TCG players. Hmm, you can... <laughs> my mistake. So it seems I haven't introduced you yet. This is Prince and Shuyin. They will be in charge of taking care of our TCG players. Ah, I'm afraid I must correct you there, ma'am. Only Prince, the strongest and most formidable TCG player of all, is capable of providing but, valuable guidance to our new players. But he's a cat. The average player is incapable of grasping the subtlety and sheer genius behind Prince's every play. And he has no choice but to rely on me to communicate with I, everyone. I, see. I am merely Prince's lowly assistant. That's all. Wow! Another guy who can understand animals! How 
can you use such a crude word as animal to describe the one and only prince? He is special and the only one of his kind. Such a remarkable insult guy who understand to animals? Prince. Did we meet someone before? Oh wait, oh? is this? What's that? Shu Yen. In the eyes oh, of the common I folk, I look no different than oh, any recall, other game, ordinary uh, cat. Yeah, this event came after the whole. Make, uh, you shouldn't overreact. Inuzuma thingy. Ah, understood. I do apologize. I think it was Tomo who was supposed to be understanding animal. It seems animal. he really is capable of communicating with the cat. Could this be the result of some modification to the language center of his brain? Sucrose, so you're thinking way too much. How can he get all of that from a simple meow? Yes, it was the sacred duels of genius invocation, TCG, that formed and cemented our bonds of mutual understanding. It's my firm belief that by simply playing the game, players can develop a deeper level of understanding between one another. So, Are you sure about that? Playing Genius Invocation TCG fosters some sort of a telepathic link between but players? I don't think it's that, that's how it works. Uh, somehow Paimon doubts that. Uh -huh. Anyway, if you'd like to know anything about Genius Invocation TCG, then please ask Shuyan. Uh, who will ask Prince? Okay. Though I'd love to explain more myself, it's time for my daily walk. I'll let Prince play a game daily with you and walk? walk you through all the rules. Just as a seasoned warrior can foresee the path of his opponent's sword, so too can I, as a TCG master, predict my opponent's every play. It would be improper to pit a newcomer to the art of the card against one such as myself. And I must therefore politely decline. <clears throat> That's what Prince said. Okay. Oh, Prince doesn't want to play with us, huh? Fine, then Prince doesn't have to. We'll play you instead. I'm sorry, but from the day I met the mighty cardmaster Prince, I swore an oath that my hands would live solely to hold the cards and not to play them. I will never play another match of my own again. If Prince is unwilling to play, then I guess we should look for an alternative. Hmm. How about this? Diona! Well, that's convenient. Yeah, blah, 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 blah. What is it? I'm pretty busy over here, you know. <laughs> oh, I love this. I wish they could give it a little bit more uh, sass, you know? Huh. Why is it that every player that sets foot in here to play Genius Invocation TCG has to have a drink? Ugh. Don't they have any clue that the key to playing a game is the ability to think straight? Seriously, I mean, just having games fun. and drinks don't mix. Don't they get that? Ah. What can I say? As I the enjoy you. Owner, I can't help but feel happy to hear this. Anyway, I see you've been working hard, so I thought you could use a break. So why not come over here and teach these customers the rules of genius invocation? Ha! <laughs> yeah, what kind of break is that? I'd rather not. Really? Oh, That's me. Why are we letting all these loafers come in here to play Genius Invocation TCG anyway? All it does is encourage more people to come to the bar for a drink. Isn't that <sighs> you your know, job? Drink sales keep going up like this. Pretty soon, Mondstadt's alcohol industry is gonna reach new heights. Come on. <sighs> oh my goodness. Looks like my first step in destroying Mondstadt's alcohol industry should be stamping out the spread of Genius Invocation TCG. <laughs> my dear, you are quite mistaken. You said it yourself, a clear mind is necessary to win. Soon, their thirst for victory will overcome their thirst for alcohol. Oh, well played. Prince speaks the truth, Diona. Not only is the spread of Genius Invocation TCG no obstacle to your goal of destroying Mondstadt's alcohol industry, it could even support you in this endeavor. Could, could it really? <laughs> yes, it sure, could. Sure, why not? Alrighty then, our two customers are waiting to learn. <laughs> she doesn't Shuyan, care. let's put you on drink mixing duty for now. But Shu Yen is destined for a far greater purpose. Shu Yen, drink mixing, now. Do you really oh, want to fight okay. her? There you go. <laughs> Ooh, all right. 
We'll need some space to learn. <laughs> Let's go to that empty table over there. All right, I'll take it. So, there you go. We're gonna learn how to play the cards. This is gonna be fun. <laughs> okay, let's go through the rules. First things first. You'll be needing your deck, so place that on the table. Um, uh, deck? There's uh, only yes? one card. You should have built a deck. You know, a set of cards that meets the bare minimum requirement to play the game. Why do you say that? Uh, what's with the blank stairs? Come on. <laughs> Don't tell me you came to learn Genius Invocation TCG without bringing any cards. Um. Yeah, we need a practice deck. Can't you just let us use one? Psh, there's no such thing. Okay, let me think. Huh. <sighs> to learn the game, you'll need at least two character cards to switch between. Oh, oh, that reminds me. A few days ago when I was closing up for the night, I noticed a customer had left a couple of character cards on the bar counter. <laughs> Maybe you could use those for now. Well, there you go. Are that's you convenient. Sure that's okay? Yeah, it's only okay. It's already been a few days and he still hasn't come back to claim them. See? Who knows? Maybe he left them here on purpose. Yeah, it's oh, destiny. Okay, yeah, I got them here with me. You know, just in case the customer came looking for them. Yeah, <laughs> not because I like to play the game or anything. <laughs> Please. You forgot to say right, back so at the end. Two character cards. <laughs> That's everything we need, right? Um, yep. there's only cards. So, Wait. Are you ready to start? I guess we are. <laughs> That's all we needed. All right, I'm ready. All right, then let's begin. No, oh, it's so adorable. <laughs> welcome, welcome to the world oh, of I love Genius these. Invocation TCG. Simply put, this is a game where you control character cards to duke it out with your opponent. Pew pew pew. Thank you for those sound effects. Once you've defeated all of your opponent's character cards, victory shall be yours. Got it. Now then, you're gonna need a character on the field to start with. Well, I currently have two. It's really funny that these these two guys. Huh, should I go for this guy or Yeah, I guess I'll go for this one. Let's go. Let's go. <laughs> First, we roll eight elemental dice at the start of every round. I wonder if people are gonna try to make Make this game into real life. That would be awesome. These dice correspond to elemental energy. We'll be spending these dice to perform actions. Okay, let's do this. Once the roll phase is over, you'll enter the action phase, where the real game starts. Okay, got it. During the action phase, you can spend elemental dice to perform various actions. Oh yeah, that's what I, how it works. Of course, the most common action is to use character skills. <laughs> nice. Not bad. You just made your first attack. Yes, I did. And it was good. During the action phase, both sides will take turns making their moves. After you use a skill to attack your opponent, it's their turn to attack. Yeah, pretty standard. And as you can see, once the enemy finishes their move, it's our turn again. Now, these are Omni-Element Dice. They can be spent on any move regardless of the elemental type. I see. So, we're gonna use them to pay for the Pyro Dice needed for this skill. In they go. 
That was funny. <laughs> that was pretty good. That's what, but the game Oops. has only just begun. Remember, you have to defeat all opponents to win. Yes, I know. I'm coming out of uh, items, you know. Hmm. As much as we'd like to attack again, seems like we've run out of usable dice. Yep. <sighs> In that case, let's end this round. After you end round, you won't be able to do anything else this round. And once everyone chooses end round, we can move on to the next round. 